in the cells. Let's draw up a graph and its table of values. It's going through four here and two here. And this table of values is going to look like this. Minus one, zero, one, two, six, four, two, zero. Now, intercepts are where the graphs cross, was where the straight line crosses the x axis and the y axis. Where it crosses the x axis, that's what we call the x intercept. And where it crosses the y axis, we call the y intercept. Always at the x intercept, the y value is 0, because if you follow it across, y is 0 there. And at the y intercept, the x value is 0. And we can see this from the table. So looking at the y intercept of 4, its x value is 0. And looking at the x-intercept of 2, its y-value is 0. So if we have an equation of a straight line, let's say y equals 2x plus 5, we can find the x and the y-intercepts by making the other value equal to 0. So if I want the x-intercept, all I have to do is make y equal to 0, and I can find that value. So let's do that. Let's substitute y equals 0, and let's figure out what x is going to be. So this becomes a little two-step equation, where we can minus 5 from both sides. 5 minus 5 is 0. 0 minus 5 is minus 5, and we're left with 2x. And we can divide both sides by 2 to work out what x is, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, and we get x equaling minus 5 over 2, or 2, minus 2.5. And that's the x-intercept, because we made y equal to 0 to solve for it. What about the y-intercept? Well, to do that, we just make x equal to 0. And let's do that. So y equals 2 times x, which we're going to make it 0, plus 5. So zero, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 5, and 0 plus 5 is 5. And y equals 5 is our y-intercept. And in fact, whatever number's over here is always your y-intercept because it doesn't matter what you put in here for 0, 0 times anything is 0, and you're always going to be left with that term there. So that's always your y-intercept.